Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Today I'm smoking my old Falcon with some Kramer's Father Dempsey from 2019. I gotta get more of this. That is all I have left. And that is a great blend. That is a great blend. So I got a lot of comments on the rocker. I'm loving this rocking chair. I tell you. Picked it up off a of Facebook marketplace. For free. Can't beat that. I have a notification set up for marketplace where I'll put something in I'm looking for in my area and when something gets uh, uploaded it notifies me and this one came up and it was free so I notified the, I messaged the guy and he said yeah come and get it man I couldn't be happier than I am right now I love rockers my grandma my grandma Manion always had, she had three rockers in her house. She had one that was kind of a mission style and I loved that rocker. And uh, my uncle David has it now because she lived with my uncle David. They, my uncle David, my aunt Jane and, and my grandma all lived together. And so my Uncle David has it now. I would love to get that, that rocker. May never happen, but. That was my favorite rocker of hers. It just was a neat rocker. And it creaked when you rocked. It moved to the left. <laughs> Drove me nuts, but that's the rocker I loved. And uh, had like a cane, cane back. And I just loved that rocker. That's one I always sat in at grandma's house. It's been, you know, it's been, Probably five years since I've been to see Uncle David, so I don't even know if he still has it. So he may not even have it anymore. He may have given it away. I need to get back up to see him. He's 88 years old and I need to get back to see him. Talk to him on the phone a lot. I haven't seen him in quite a while and I, I need to, I need, I have to go back and see him soon. It's not a want, it's a need. And my wife's always telling me, you need to go back and see Uncle David, so. I used to go see him all the time. I'd, I'd drive all night, I'd leave the house at 10 o'clock at night Get, it hit, get to his house about seven o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I wouldn't even tell him I was coming. <laughs> I'd show up on the do his doorstep, knock on the door and, you dumbass, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'd drive up there, 
just to watch the World Series, a World Series game with them. And just, it's the only reason, just to watch a World Series game with them. I was living in San Diego and he lives up in, in Walnut Creek. And it's about a nine hour drive, eight, eight nine hour drive. Depending on how, how many stops you take, it could be a 10 hour drive. But uh, I would drive overnight, all night, because I loved that. I loved that drive all night, driving up the five. The radio blasting, stereo blasting. I love night driving. I don't anymore, because I can't see very good anymore. I'm starting to get cataracts, and I just can't see very good anymore at night. And But, uh, man, I used to love that drive. God, I love that drive. I just, I just loved it. And it was usually in the summer, it was always warm. Going through the central California, it was always warm. And I'd always have the windows down, the stereo just blasting. I'd stop every two and a half hours or so and get a gas station and fill the gas tank just to just to top it off. And I'd look around and see what they had in the gas station, you know, always looking for hats or something. You know, new area, you never know what you're gonna find. Grab a Coke. some pistachios or something, you know, to munch on and back on the road, you go. Turn, crank up the stereo. I just loved that drive. Anyway. So I don't know if you guys noticed it's in a couple of my last videos, I was having a lot of trouble starting my lighting my lighter in his icar so i was getting ready to send it back to him because it has a, a lifetime warranty on it and i got up this morning i was looking at it and i noticed it was just black just dark black and dirty i figured well i'm gonna clean it so i got a couple of q-tips and some alcohol and i just wet the q-tips and started cleaning it man like the q-tips just turned immediately turned black so i used two q-tips and just cleaned it up especially the little the little jet in there you know where the butane comes out and this thing looks brand spanking new now and it lights every single time now so if you got a lighter with a butane jet on it and it's not lighting every time get a q-tip and some alcohol and just clean that thing up and uh, see if it makes a difference uh, especially the old boy style also Zycar has some great videos on how to adjust the sparker on butane lighters uh, not like these kind that have flints but just regular sparker butane like cigar lighters. We had some great videos on how to adjust those up and down to get a good spark and get ignition on those lighters. It was very informative. Speaking of which, I'm thinking about getting a cigar lighter. So if any of you guys who are cigar smokers have any recommendations on a, I'm not looking for an expensive cigar lighter. I want something very kind of low, low cost cigar lighter, 40, 50 bucks, somewhere around there. I'm not looking for a Dunhill, anything like that. want something with a jet 
the jet lighter is what I'm looking for. Um, but I know nothing about cigar lighters. I absolutely nothing about them. Um, so if, if you guys have recommendations, man, I'd love to hear them. Uh, you could do videos with what you have. I'd really appreciate that. Just showing me what you've got. Um, and, uh, um, give me a, you know, a, a ballpark cost on them. I'd really appreciate that. I'm not, uh, I'm not looking for, you know, the hundred dollar range stuff. I'm looking more in the forty fifty dollar range. I, uh. I don't smoke a ton of cigars, but I have a, a terrible time trying to light my cigars with, with the soft flame lighter, especially outside. So it probably wouldn't be too bad in here anymore. I could do it in here with, with this one. This one you can lift that. This one you can lift that up and you, it goes back all the way and you, you know, I could light it and probably light the cigar just fine with that if i turn this up all the way it would probably do just fine i want to get a jet lighter especially for when i'm outside out and back I don't want something that's going to give up the ghost after two months, you know. I had one that I bought years ago, jet lighter, and after two weeks it just quit working. And it may have been the way I, I something I did, I don't know. Probably the way I filled it or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know now that you're supposed to express all the fuel out of it when you go to refill it so i may have just been filling it on top of what was in it and it just wasn't taking any more fuel in could have been user error but it was a cheap little you know 599 jet lighter from the local gas station so but if you guys have any recommendations I'd love to hear them videos would be greatly appreciated if you could put a link to where you you know got it from or something that would be even and more incredible but thank you guys for doing that Anyway, I'm just going to relax, enjoy my rocker. I'll tell you, there's nothing better than smoking a pipe in a rocking chair. There is nothing better. <laughs> Makes me want to smoke more corn cobs, I'll tell you. <laughs> now, wind is starting to pick up again. guys can hear that or not it's starting to howl dad gum Jim and cricket well 
I'll be picking up limbs again tomorrow. I'm gonna start saving some of those branches for making uh, tampers with. Some of the good sized ones for making tampers. Putting those to the side. Got a bunch of guys coming over May 18th. I'll give some to those guys if they want them for making tampers. Also, I'm meeting Steve Coddington on Thursday. He's coming to Mylon. So that'll be fun. Never met Steve. He contacted me about getting together. And Gordon Robinson, I'll be doing the video on, on the tobacco prep this weekend. I haven't forgotten that. Uh, I just haven't um, figured out how I'm going to do it. Um, I'll have to do that in the house, so I don't have a table out here to do it on. have to find a little table for out here or a bench I need a workbench out here is what I need just don't know where I'm gonna put it until I get rid of this we got some friends getting married in June I'm gonna get married on the property here and uh, so we've been saving all Sadie's wedding stuff for them to use. So I'll, I've got a table with boxes and everything over here with all the wedding stuff on it, in it. And, and stuff in our sheds down there with tables and chairs. And, which I'm glad we have because that will come in handy for years to come. <laughs> tables and chairs we've got eight or nine ten foot tables and I think 80 folding chairs wooden maple folding chairs that are just perfect so we'll hang on to those but I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. God bless.